Hello everyone. This is Donnie with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to build a really cool simple project that everyone needs in their home. This awesome handy dandy paper towel holder. Stick with us. The first thing we do is we lay out for the spindle height. Using a speed square we mark the mark the length of the spindle. I use my new miter saw to cut the spindle length itself. The next thing I want to do is I want to lay out my circumference uh, for my base. The material I'm using is around seven and three quarters, so my base wound up being around a seven and a quarter inches in diameter. And we also use the miter saw for that. The next thing we want to do is cut out the base circle. You can use a jigsaw, um, a handsaw, a coping saw, or a bandsaw, which is what I have, so that's what I chose to use. It makes things a lot easier for me um, as far as cutting things out, but once again, a handsaw or a jigsaw could be used. The next thing we want to do is we want to rip our spindle to length, uh, to width, excuse me. We want to make sure that we get the correct spindle width that we need for our uprights for the paper towels to sit over. And then we'll take and go over to the miter saw and cut the short spindle height. Then comes everyone's most favorite part, and that's the sanding. I used the 80 grit sandpaper to rough over the corners and the edges because I wanted to make sure that all the edges were smooth and had a round effect to them. You could use a hand uh, sandpaper, you could use a file rasp or something like that to do the same thing. So a power sander is not necessarily needed. It's just an added convenience if you happen to have one. The next thing we want to do on the list is we want to get the base sanded as best as we can. I once again used my palm sander, my or, um, random orbital sander to sand the base down and get a nice edge on it. Then following that we want to, I laid out the spindle height, uh, the spindle location, and I drilled some holes that would attach the spindles to the base. I also did the same thing by marking a center mark on my spindles and pre-drilled the holes in those also to prevent the wood from splitting. Once everything was drilled and I was happy with the location of where it all was and I ran a screw, just a simple wood screw, through the base a couple of times, then I applied a small dab of yellow wood glue to the center base and proceeded to do the same thing with the short base making sure that I wiped up all the glue with a wet paper towel or rag after I was finished. And you want to make sure that you have the orientation set correctly once you screw both of them together. You kind of want them facing each other to where, to where the short spindle can be used to rip off part of the paper towel. So once again, you can see that I'm wiping things off and making sure it's clean. After I wiped the entire project down to make sure there was no dust, I quickly stirred up some stain of my choice and did a nice few coats of stain on the piece on the paper towel holder allowing it to dry adequately in between. I think here I chose a walnut stain and it seemed to do pretty good on the poplar. One thing I noticed that a little bit of wiping on the glue caused a little bit of residue, um, a little splotching around where the spindle meets the base. So that's something you want to make sure that you take care of. Um, make sure that when you clean the glue up, you get all the glue up from around it. So put on as many coats of stain as you think are appropriate for your desired color and go from there. Once that is done, I just took a simple rattle can of spray poly, put a few coats on, uh, making sure that I sanded lightly and wiped everything down in between. I hope everyone enjoyed this project today. Come on over to WorkshopAddict.com. Check this out. There'll be free plans um, available in the blog and plan section. Come on over to the forum and join us. And uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions about this, please leave comments below. And make sure to go check us out on all your favorite social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, until the next project, project thanks for joining. Have a good day.